All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, a lot of information for y'all, man. We got this video out late, but better late than never. And sometimes with 2K, man, the later the better because you get to just, you get to think about stuff and get to see stuff. We get to analyze things and all that good stuff, man. So, hey, look, if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video because liking the video helps us get more and more viewers. I kind of went over it yesterday and uh, let y'all know, <clears throat> listen, if the first people that get here, don't, let me show you how YouTube algorithm work. If y'all don't like the video when you first get here, just like it, like it, like it, just like the video right now. You ain't doing nothing, just like it. And the people that don't know that I'm putting out videos, they will get the notifications and then they'll be able to come and they'll be able to like and do all that. And plus, if you like the video, you're getting a chance to win and comment down below, obviously. You get a chance to win 2K23 on the day that it comes out. I'm gonna send the codes out uh, for any system that you want. And then we're gonna be giving away weekly um, VC. So it'd be like, you know, maybe 10,000 VC, 100,000 VC. I don't know how much I'm gonna give away, but somebody said, you know, you should do like every time you get two or 300 likes, or maybe we'll put it at 2,000. Every time videos, a certain number of videos collectively get 2,000 likes, we're gonna give it away or something like that. So we, we were working it out. Y'all let me know how much we should give away 100,000 VC, something like that. I think that'll be fair, but you know, we're gonna test it out, see how it go. Um, and like I said, man, every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that also oh coveted 100K. And let me show you, let me tell y'all how it does it. Because like I said, most people are telling me, Jay, we didn't know you putting out videos. They don't know that we're putting out videos, so uh, they can't like the video and they can't even get in this, in this thing to win, win them a copy. But look, yesterday's video, uh, two days ago, 5,000 views, we had uh, almost 6,000 likes. Yesterday, we had 300 likes and we got about 2,000 views. So as you can see, the views are the, the video the day before, the DBZ video, we got 900 views and we got uh, 100 likes. Like, so as y'all can see, it directly correlates. So just like the video, man. And uh, like I said, cause every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that also covered at 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. I hate having to do that. I hate having to sit there and beg for likes. You shouldn't have to do it, man. But with YouTube, you cannot grow if your audience don't like the video. And I don't, if y'all don't like the video, it's like, I just might as well stop doing content. Why don't y'all like it? Am, am I, y'all just don't like me or something? Or y'all just come here to see me look look stupid every day or something? I don't I don't know, man. Maybe y'all want to keep this this part of YouTube all to y'all self or whatever. But we, we trying to grow. We trying to push growth. We trying to do all this stuff, man. So make sure y'all hit that like button. And let's just get it on, man. Let's get it on! Anyway, first up, uh, R. Jeff. They, they, this is what we're talking about today. NBA 2K talk about we got the announcers, uh, the guest announcers that will be. They kind of announced all of the guest announcers. And, uh, you know, we got uh, Jason uh, Richard. I keep wanting to say Jason Richardson. It's not Jason Richardson. That's uh, that's uh, Jay Rich. This is Richard Jefferson. R. Jeff. 24. I don't get them mixed up, but it's like, you know, like I, I, my mind wants to say Jason Richardson. But uh, anyway, it just says making his a uh, making his 2K broadcast booth 2K broadcast booth debut is uh Richard Jefferson, man. Hey, hey, Arizona's finest, if I ain't mistaken. If I'm mistaken, y'all let me know. But uh I'm gonna tell y'all a, a story about that. I wanna say it gotta be Arizona's finest because when they won a the national title, if uh I was in I was in college when they won a the national title and I actually had the bottle cap and uh and, and they won. And I was like, oh, and then I really didn't win nothing because you know, you know, that's back when you you know bottle caps, you had to twist off the cap before you could input it online and see if you automatically won and stuff like that. So you know it is what it is. Hey, good career with the Nets, all that stuff. That was the original Love City over there with Jason Kidd. I could be completely wrong, but I think I'm not wrong. So you know, hey, great player, uh, good player, and uh, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing, man. Richard Jefferson uh is joining the cast. Also, they got up there, we got um they're talking about the Bulls, uh, Ray Clay. Ray Clay, uh, they say listen to him on the Jordan Challenge. He's gonna be there, he's gonna be the PA announcer, uh, Ray Clay. And then, last but not least, you're gonna have the uh, Czar Mike Fatello. And uh, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, Gamby gonna love that because he, hey, he, he former Cleveland Cavaliers coach, former Atlanta Hawks coach, the Czar Mike Fatello joins the broadcast team as a color analyst for the Jordan Challenge and Era game. So I think it's gonna be dope, man. I think it's not, it's, it's not anything that I feel like we really need to really, 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 really be worried about. But I think that they just wanted to find a way to stretch this thing out 
And because they're doing that, um, because they're stretching it out, you know, they just want to make sure that we got something to, to go every day. And as you can see that we got news every single day. And, I'm, and if you just subscribe here and like the videos, we're going to be we're going to be making sure that y'all got these uh, videos every day. Up next, your boy Gambito. Speaking of the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Cleveland Cavaliers number one fan. OK, I'm just chilling, watching my daily YouTube video and bam, I see uh, NBA 2K23, my bill. I might be a NBA 2K23. Come on, man. We don't even know what the builder is yet. Uh, it's it's too early for that clickbait. Now, I'm going to agree with you on that, Gambito. But at the same time, I think, uh, depending on who it was from, if it was from like Uncle Demi or somebody like that, he already, yeah, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's already been inside the builder. Like if you see Shakedown and those guys, uh, some some people have already seen, played the game, been inside the building and stuff like that. But I don't know uh, to whom he's referring, so I can't I can't confirm nor deny. But I know a lot of people have already have already uh, been inside the builder um, if they if they are affiliated with 2K in any type of way. I haven't. You know I ain't been in there, but you know it is what it is, man. So, hey, it's, it depends on who it's from. I've seen a lot of people that I know for a fact have not been inside the builder, and I've seen a lot of people um, do videos, and I know for a fact they have been in the builder. So it is what it is, man. It's just one of those things. And but like I like I said, facts no printer, baby. Like it is, you know what I'm saying? It's clickbait. We got to do the clickbait. It's it's unnecessary. I mean, it's it's unfortunate that we do got to do the clickbait, man. But it's just it's, it's just the way um, that 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 uh. YouTube goes and and how 2k goes. I mean it is what it is man it got a lot of people that clickbaited their way to the top If we don't participate in the clickbait, then we gonna get left behind and the people that clickbait their way to the top They are they are actually uh, uh, What do you what would you say counting on us to not? Uh, do it, you know, not not clickbait so they can clickbait their way to the top. So it is what it is, man. It's part of the game, baby. You gotta do what we gotta do. Anyway, 2K put out a poll, uh, put out a thing and said, What are your 2K23 goals? Uh, Nate, Nate said, Get Xbox. Uh, Nate, Nate X said, Get Xbox lit again. You got a uh, badge plug saying, Wags plug, badge plug saying, Uh, to get a, a million subscribers. You know, you got a lot of people say, Um, you know, so my NBA isn't a broken man. I don't, I don't care about none of this stuff, man. Uh, you know, verified to get verified. You know, you just got some got some various stuff uh, to do. Say honestly, just want, just want to just want the game to work, to work. <laughs> it says uh, you know, convince. You know, he just got to join up that way. It says he got kicked out of a game or whatever. Two K support said, let's see, let's see what we can do for you. Um, could you please open a support ticket? So, you know, at least they're looking. Joe No says to become known in the 2K community and have a successful YouTube channel uh, that people enjoy watching sometimes. Hey, that's all any of us can hope for. Uh, best content creator. Uh, and it's not close uh, to be the best content creator, I guess. Oh, no, he's saying he's saying that Joe knows the best content creator. Saying say to get the uh, lines then back popping. Uh, T says that's what we need and you know a lot of other people saying a lot of other stuff that boy El Cabro Viejo to get followed Baba Luba and OG Constant OG Constant follow me. I need a, I need a follow. Yeah, OG Constant does follow me my boy My boy OG Constant. Y'all don't know y'all don't know about that though, man. Me and Constant been, been cool since um since um Machinima sports days where I was like the only person doing 2k content and I, would only, I didn't put it on my channel, I only put it on Machinima Sports. And what I would do is, this, it was a series called Me Versus Me. And I would go out and play city basketball games. And then I would play a realistic 2K game where I would score like 20 points, five rebounds, 10, 10 assists, something like that. Not, not the ones where people play 90 minute games and, and score a, a million points. I didn't do those, I just do little, little quick five minute games and, and so I can get some realistic stats. Because if I score 70 points, I know I'm not scoring 70 in real life. Uh, you know, so it is what it was. So, you know, we've been tight since then, man. That's my guy, man. Always gonna be my guy. And uh, it is what it is. So, um, you know, that's all it is, man. I've already, I've already got, I got one down. Hey, I got one down, twin. I need one to go, baby. Uh, up next, man, we got, um, but yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna hit 100K. That's it. I hit 100K. I ain't gonna cry now because I feel like I should have been, been there, but it's just like, if y'all, you know what I'm saying? People not liking the videos and helping it get out there, that's part of the reason. So, like, just do the free stuff. Do y'all part, man. Just like the video if y'all want me to get there. And that's what we're going to do, man. Uh, up next, your boy Stacks. Hey, he looked at this thing. He, he, he tweeted this out. Limitless range is really Mike. 
And uh, you know, we just got this. They took this uh, NBA 2K23 leaks and then tell. He just took it from. He just took this from. Um, you know, from the little video or whatever. Let me close that off because he's just playing, playing stuff. But you know, he just took that from the little video, that part from the video um, with the Richard Jefferson thing. You see that boy step all the way, bite. Now I don't know if they got that thing on Super Ricky. If they got it on stage, it's probably stage difficulty because stage difficulty is lower than Super Ricky because the because the bull you hit in stage, bro, and the contested and contested shots, whatever. So they probably got this on stage difficulty. But you see how how far he hit it from from there. Bro, let me tell you something, man. I, 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 I'm I cool with Limitless Range coming back, and I want it to come back. But I don't, but this, I, I will tell you this. It was nice to not have to deal with stuff such as this this year. Could you imagine left, right, left, right, and he can shoot from half court? Oh, my Jesus. I don't know what we could have did. Big shout out to the boy Stacks, though, man. Y'all go check him out, man. Um... Check out yesterday's video, link in the description, telling you how to make your own thumbnails and all that good stuff right there. Um, it's going to be dope, and it's going to be a lit affair. Uh, last but not least, man, we got this joint right here, man, where, where one person is asking, well, you know, he's talking about the takeover right here, right? Boom, you're going to see Mike in the key. Fade, fader, Jordan fades back. Yes, and it counts. Look at the fade. But uh, somebody caught something on that man, and they were just—they just wanted to know. FG says, "Can you explain to me what's the point of the delayed green animation if it still activates before the ball touches the rim? And if you actually look right there, you can see that the ball has not yet touched the rim, but it's there. But I would argue that." It did what it's supposed to do in that you see the ball is about to go in and it's and it hadn't touched the rim yet, but you see how many people are around the uh the rim. So you have to crash even though the you know, even though the green is there now, it's too late to get out of that break animation. Everybody gotta crash to the rim, everybody gonna have to go instead of being how it was where if we don't see it be green, then we just take off. Now you're not gonna see it be green, so you won't be able to uh, do it because in, it, when you freeze it, yeah, but in real time, you see him shoot the ball and it's like, okay, we got to crash. Now everybody's under the rim and then it just goes through. So I, I feel the delay, I feel what he's saying, but at the same time, I feel that the delayed green animation is gonna be something that's gonna be really good uh, for the game. Uh, it's just gonna take away a lot of those runouts. And I think, one of the things that they could do to take care, take care of the runouts also is just do like they do it live. If you try to launch that ball down the court, bro, you're throwing it out of bounds like five out of 10 times or six out of 10 or something like that. You gotta bring the ball up the court. That's something that I've, I've wanted them to take out uh, and put it back in the 2K forever. And, uh, and for a lot of people, they think it's in the game, but if you know what you're doing, like I have, we have devised a way to you never throw that ball out of bounds playing with man, man, grind hard and brooding all them, bro. Look, man. If y'all want me to put it out there, let me know. I will put that tutorial out there on how to launch that thing. But, you know, I think everybody know how to do it. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new, man. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Do your thing. Uh, stay true to yourself. And, uh, you know, just keep everything popping, man. Don't worry about what nobody else say, man. Just do your thing. But uh, like the video. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.